Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fifth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about numeric variables and string variables in a little more detail. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is create a variable called a and I'll just give it the value of 5. So you type in a, you type in the equal to symbol or the assignment operator and then the value that you want to assign to your variable. So in this case I want to assign 5 so I press the enter key and my variable has been created. I can confirm that by just typing in the variable name and I see that 5 is displayed so that's the value that the variable contains. Now let's say I change the value of a to 7, right? So to do that, I'll just have to type in a again, the equal to symbol and the new value, which is 7. And when I press the enter key now and type in a and press enter again, I see the new value 7. So what Python does is it creates an object when you assign a value to a variable, right? So when we assign 5 to a, an object 5 was created and a was linked to it. Right, the object was created in the memory and the variable was linked to it. Now when I gave the variable a new value, when I assigned it uh, the value 7, then another object 7 was created and you know a was the link between a and 5 was broken and a new link was established between a and 7. Right, so that's how Python works, you know, when you reinitialize a variable, you know, a new object is created and a new connection is made between the variable and the new object, right? And if you want to assign a fractional value to a number, that's also very simple. So I create another variable B and I'll give it the value 36.24 and I press the enter key and I can use the print function as well to, you know, see the value of my variables. And this is something that we already know now. So when I use a print function to see what B contains, I get on screen 36.24. Right, and you can use the delete uh, method to delete variables from memory. So I'll have to type in del and I'll give a space. And when I type in a variable name, so I have two variables at the moment a and b. So I'll type in a and press the enter key. And uh, now, if I'll see what value a contains, and I'll get a trace back error. And the error is that um, a is not defined. So the variable has been removed from the memory, and Python cannot find it anymore. Right. And uh, there are four data types uh, that are supported by Python for numbers and uh, integers. And integers are values like 5, 7, 9, 18, 130, 188, right? So whole number values are integer values. And then you ha also have a float data type. And uh, float values are fractional values like 36.24 or 17.98, etc. And uh, then you also have the long data type, which is used to have like really, really, really big numbers. You know, you have to add the alphabet L and you know, you, you won't really have to work with the, the long data type much unless you're dealing with astronomical figures, right? And then you also have the complex data type in Python and a complex uh, number has two parts. As you guys know, you know, one is the real part and the other one is the imaginary part. And the way you work with complex numbers in your mathematics uh, textbooks, you know, that's, it's the same way for Python. So so you, you know, if you have to create a complex number, let's create a couple. In fact, you know, I'll call one uh, my, my var and uh, I'll give it the value. Let's say this variable has a real part of seven and an imaginary part of minus four. So I'll type in seven and then the, you know, minus sign and then the imaginary part four and then I'll type in the alphabet J, right? So, you know, the number that has the alphabet J next to it, that's the imaginary part. And the number that doesn't have that is the real part. So seven minus four J is a complex number. And I can see its value by just typing in my var. And let's create another one. I'll call this one your var. And I'll give it the value three plus 10 J. And uh, I can perform arithmetic operations on these numbers too. And we're gonna talk about operations in a lot of detail later on in the course, but let's say you just want to add these two numbers. So my var plus your var, I'll just type in that. When I press the enter key, I get the result as 10 plus 6j. So, so what happens is the real parts of both numbers are added. So 7 plus 3 is 10 and the imaginary parts of both numbers are added. So 10 minus 4 is 6. So that's why you get the result 10 plus 6j. And uh, let's talk a little about strings now. So a string, as we know, is a set of characters enclosed within quotation marks. And uh, in this tutorial, we'll create a string variable and check out some basic stuff that we can do with it, right? So I'll create a string and I'll, uh, you know, put in uh, the text, hello world in it. And, uh, you know, of course we know how we can see the values in strings by using the print function or by simply typing the name of our variable and you know the text is displayed now let's say you want to get a part of the string and not the entire string so suppose you want to extract the word hello from the string 
the way you can do that is by typing the name of the string and then you can get a pair of square brackets and these are not parentheses but square brackets and then you have to specify the index position of your first character and in python in a string the index position of the first character is zero and the index position of the second character is one and so on and so forth right so if i simply type in zero here and press the enter key then h that is the first alphabet in the string will be returned to me and if i want to extract an entire portion of the string then i have to specify the um, index position of the beginning character so in this case it will be zero and then you'll have to type in the colon and uh, you know then you'll have to uh, specify the number of characters that you want to pull out so i want to pull out the first five characters for the word hello so i'll type in five here and when i press the enter key the word hello is returned to me right and i can do the same thing within a print function as well and uh, let's say you want to extract the second word uh, world from the string so to do that i'll type in str and uh, within square brackets i'll type in the index position of the alphabet w in the string and uh, if we check h is 0 e is 1 l is 2 the second l is 3 o is 4 the space is 5 and w is 6 so i have to type in 6 here and since the, the word world is the last word in the string i can just type in a colon and not type anything else after that right so if you just specify the colon and nothing after it then python extracts you know the component of the string from the beginning character till the end of the string right so world the entire word will be uh, extracted press the enter key i get my uh, word and uh, the next thing that we're going to check out is what if you want to display a string a bunch of times so you know if you have a website and you know you want to display the message good morning like 15 times then let's say we want to display hello world four times so i'll type in str and then the asterisk symbol or the multiplication operator and uh, the number of times you want the string to be repeated so in this case i want it to be repeated let's say four times and when i press the enter key i see the word uh, the string hello world repeated four times right and this is not very useful i mean it, it's not useful you know in the current form at least but then there are some things that you can do with this that are interesting and we'll be checking those out later on in the course and uh, let's say you want to concatenate strings and what i mean by that is you want to add something to the string hello world and display that right so to do that i'll type in uh, str the name of the variable and then the addition symbol this time and uh, then within double quotes i can type in any other string like uh, what's up right and uh, when i press the enter key now i see the string hello world first a space character and then what's up right and that's because i have a space character here in the second string so that's it for now in the next tutorial we're going to talk about uh, you know lists and tuples uh, you know lists and tuples are data types in python and you know really 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 interesting and important data types and uh, i hope you guys are having fun in this course and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial and take care